Few would disagree that marksmanship must be learned. Good marksmanship requires appropriate posture, proper sight alignment, breath control, concentration, and above all, plenty of practice. Leadership. Is leadership any different? Or can leadership be learned just like marksmanship? Well, leadership is learned. People aren't born leaders. They learn to lead the same way they learn how to hit a target or learn any other skill. Watch the vignettes that are about to unfold. Determine what went wrong, what could have been done differently, and most important, how would you handle these situations? Oh, I can't, I can't well, believe it. You think that's, you know, funny? You should have seen him, the dummy. All right, wise ass, you'll have to bring that one up. There he is down on Monroe Street, right? Taking an accident report. Blue lights on, flashing off the buildings, everything, right? And he's standing outside his cruiser, so I thought something was wrong. So I try to call him on the radio. He won't answer. So, you know, I, I pulled up next to him, and there he is, standing there with a coat hanger trying to, you know, get the locker done. <laughs> right, talk about embarrassing. <laughs> what an idiot, huh? He <laughs> left the keys in the car. <laughs> what did you do that? You learned something. I can't believe you. <laughs> and the next thing I do, I turn around, and there's a lieutenant pulling up. Oh, that old nose. Yeah. There he is, he's still trying to get the, you know, the lack on done. Oh hey, is that the bell? Can't believe it. Well, that must bell. be the surgeon. He's always going to have him, you know? You never know about him. him. Hey, well, so what's the story with you about that uh, complaint? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I whacked some guy. What a jerk he was. You know, he tried to run me all over. Whacked some guy. Oh, get no, I didn't out of it. I don't know. I dragged him out of the car and punched him. He deserved it. He tried to run me over. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think he did. Him. You oh, think that's uh, true? You just tell him to for waiting, guys. You have shit faced already. I got some catching up to do here. Sorry I was late. I had a flat tire on the way over. Yeah. Do you believe that? Wait a minute, sir. I'll get you a beer. All right, Tommy. Thanks. A couple for you when you're even with us. Yeah. We could talk all day. Oh, I could go into the table with you guys every yeah, time. Yeah, why were you late right anyway? Yeah, you should have yeah. been here on time. I don't want a tire. That's a flat tire. You've been using that every time. Oh, oh, thanks, Tommy. Hey, listen, you guys. I got bad news. What? That's the last beer. I got to run down oh, the store and get some. Oh, great. You're coming to it. Jesus, Tommy. That's kind of poor planning. You should have had the beer here. Come yeah. on, huh? Well, I got to catch up here a little yeah, bit. Well, Two you know, six packs for, you know, five guys. What's the money term? Getting up this time, too, huh? Ooh. I did some spot, I'll tell you. So who tells Captain Murphy's problem busting balls? I know. Hey, hey Sarge, what's this all about? I was wearing our hats around minorities and saying yes, sir, and no, sir, to them. What's going on? Some minority group signed a petition against us for being disrespectful and abusive to them. So, the administration comes down to my ass to get you guys in line. The lieutenant's no help either. His head is up his ass. He's been sitting behind the desk too long. Well, don't worry about that. It'll all blow over in a couple of weeks or so. I don't know why they just don't leave us alone. We'll do our job. Christ, it's always something.
Lieutenant. Bill, I want you to send Keller over to the tactical squad tomorrow. Keller? Why Keller? Just do as I say. I haven't got time to argue. Well, how long is he going to be assigned to the tactical unit? Until I say otherwise. Now, you do it, and I'll fill you in later. 356-1019. See Sergeant Langston. 10-4, in route. Wonder what I did this time. Who knows? Maybe I'm the one who screwed up this time. Ray, you have to pay attention to what's going on in the district. There's been an awful lot of breaks there last night. You're going to have to be a little more conscientious about what's going on. Sergeant, what can I do for you? I want you to report to the tactical unit tomorrow. Why and for how long? Don't ask so many questions. Just do what I told you. I'm not asking many questions. All I want to know is why I've been selected and how long I'm going to be assigned here. That's not too much to ask, is it? You heard what I said. Report to the tactical unit tomorrow, and that's it. How long am I going to be working there? You're going to be there until I tell you otherwise. And there's three good reasons why. One, two, three. Ray, I'll talk to you later. Sit back in the car, please. This will only take a minute. All right? 65 to 81. 65, go ahead. Okay, Sergeant, need to speak with you. I'm at the intersection of uh, Palmer and Lake at an investigation of an accident. Okay, I'll be there in two minutes. I'm at Hudson and Castle. Okay. Please. I, I, I got to piss off. Okay, okay. I, I have uh, to piss too, but this will only take a minute or two, all right? Okay, let's make this easy on both of us. Where are we going? Okay, well, just relax. There we go. What's the problem here? Oh, just a minor traffic accident. The uh, husband and wife in that vehicle suffered minor abrasions and cuts to the face. So, what's the problem? Well, it's the operator of the station wagon. He's a, he's a city commissioner, Commissioner Murphy. And, well, he's falling down drunk, and what should I do? I don't, uh, what are you asking me for? This isn't my case. Use your own discretion. I'll put a couple of flares out in the corner there. The cars come around here awful fast. Accept me requesting a 24 state double gravity. Sergeant. How long has it been fun on us since we received the call? Not sure. I guess it's our turn to be observed. Look, this is my car. Your car, car I you. you got everything else. Down. What do you want? I put the this money down. Place. This is my Look, car. The only thing I'm I invested with, huh? five years in your future, and you gave me shit. Every year it's the same old story. Everything I gave you. All the time. I worked. I'm sick of it. Look, I you got all that explosion. All I came home was to you and beer. I'm not taking my eyes, you're Give me the goddamn keys. No way! Where are you going? Give me the keys. My Forget it. Give me the keys. You asshole. Give me those keys, damn it. 
Where are you going? How can I get anywhere now? I don't know. I'm just, I'm fed up. I don't know what to do anymore. Sir, is there a problem here? Yeah, there is a problem. And this bitch is trying to take my car now. She's got everything else. Why don't you step over this way? Walk in hell. He wants to take the car home. And it's my car. Got everything else. Forget it. Why don't you just calm down or we can't help you? You can't let her do this to me. My God, it just isn't fair. Sir, just calm down or we can't help you. He's such a stupid jerk. He's always trying to take over and... Listen, we've been separated now about two months. They call it a legal separation, but I don't know what's legal about it. They gave her everything except this car, and I got the bills. Damn it, you can't have my hey, car. you heard what the officer said. He said, shut up. Now go in the bar, have a beer, and cool off. I don't want to cool off. I want my car. Listen, I told you to leave. Now get out of here, oh, or you're going to get know. locked up. And if she's sober, you tell her to get out of here. Now, you can't let things get out of hand. You've got to take charge. Now clear the call and get back on the street. Headquarters, I'll be 1050 with a speeding motorist. Current Massachusetts license 229CXY at Myron Street off of Route 5. Ma'am, license and registration, please. Did I do something wrong, officer? I hope I wasn't speeding or anything. Yes, you were speeding. Would you mind stepping out of the car, Miss Billings? Have you been drinking? Well, we did have a party at the office this afternoon, but I only had a couple of drinks. I'm going to have to ask you again to get out of the car, Miss Billings. Are you sure that was just a couple of drinks? You look a little tipsy. I'm going to have to give you a couple of routine tests. Would you please stand with both feet together, your head back, and your eyes closed? This is really embarrassing. Do we have to do this here? What if someone I know sees me? What's going on here, Duffy? You trying to make a date with this pretty young lady? What's she done wrong? Well, Sergeant, Miss Billings here had quite a few drinks and was all over the road. She came flying by me and almost caused an accident. Miss Billing, is it? That must have been quite a party. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with her that a couple of cups of coffee won't cure. You go ahead, and I'll make sure she gets home safely. But, Serge, go ahead. Get back into service. I'll talk to you later. Hey, Phil, uh, you going to the ball game this weekend? Uh, I wish I could, but Maryland's folks are coming down for the weekend, and, uh... Headquarters to car 11. Report a suspicious car in back of Wingate Shopping Center, corner of Caroline and Fourth. Complainant says car is late model citation, tan and red. Car 11, that's Collins and Fourth. Car 11, we'll be out checking that car. Jack, why don't you check the building? I'll run a listing on the car. Yeah, okay. 
It's probably an employee car. Yeah, probably. Headquarters, give me a check. 71096 Lima. You there! Stop! Police officer, stop or I'll... Car 11 to headquarters. We got shots fired. Roll it back up right now. Headquarters, car 65, back up car 11, corner of Collins and Ford. Shots have been fired. Sarge, all he had was a screwdriver. No way. That's all we need. Get rid of that thing. All right, don't worry, Jack. You did what you had to do. Come on, let's go to my car and talk for a minute. 